Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with another amazing mod for you today. And this one's the Shortugal mod. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But as you can see, look at all these dragon eggs around me. And I'm standing on one too. And this mod is the Dragon Riders mod. It is the dragons from the Aragorn series, I'm pretty sure. Uh, at least that's what the mod said. And so all of these dragons each get their own temple in the world... Um, you'll see things like the blue, the brown, the green, the pink. The red is actually found in the nether. And then there's a gold dragon. Or at least, it's a yellow dragon, but it looks gold. There's white. And so, when you go to these temples, uh, in the temple you f will find these uh, eggs after solving certain puzzles. I'll show that later on in the uh, in the video. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that word. But, <clears throat> just to show you what happens. this is These are all of the eggs that are in the mod. And so you you just want a a a dragon, you know? You can ride these dragons if you have a saddle. So one of the things that's actually going to have to be done is the fact that when you get the egg, you can then left uh right click it and oh, look at the dragon. Hey, dragon. And as you can see, it has a little health bar and he should follow me around. He is my dragon. And you can see he's looking at me. And uh also as you can see, the dragons will later on when they mature you can shear them whoa you can shear them i can't shear this one yet um actually i can't remember the command real quick i'm going to look it up okay guys sorry i can't believe i forgot that that was a really i thought i knew it but okay so as you can see here's my dragon and i let's i want to ride this dragon so i'm going to type in slash dragon mature you have to allow cheats for this to work otherwise you just have to wait a few minecraft days for it to grow up by itself so i'll go ahead and do that and whoa it's a big dragon. And one thing I'm going to show you is that when you shear these, you get dragon scales. Uh, what this is right now is these are unlimited. You can use them to make weapons. Uh, there's some things this mod adds that adds it adds uh, steel that you can actually make steel weaponry and armor out of. But the scales can be used for like swords. And as you can see, the diamond shears, which are made just like our regular shears except with diamonds, uh, they do have a durability, So, but right now it is an infinite amount, so I could just sit here and hold it and get all the scales I want. But that's not what I want to do. I want to ride this dragon. So as you can see now, he has this little saddle on his back. The animation for this is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to right-click on the dragon and, oh, I can ride him. So if you hit space, that goes up, and then it's WASD from there to turn left, right, and go forward. Shift goes down, space goes up, and it is just a really cool mod if you want to ride a dragon. Uh, another thing that is awesome about this mod is just, I mean, look at this. this you, you fly, and look at his wings, like the animation for this dragon is just really, really amazing. Look at all the Ebos out here. So, while I show off the flying, I'm actually going to see if I can find a temple. I'm not sure if I will. Hey, look, there's a village. Let's go terrorize the village. Um, let's go in. And also, it goes towards where you point. And as you can see right here, this is the perfect place to show off one of the temples. This is for the pink dragon. So, let's go ahead and get off of our dragon. I guess I'm going to park him on the roof. Do you park dragons? I'm not entirely sure. But for this particular temple... You, all you can see is there's this, this this thing of lava. And so this is a puzzle. What, what you actually have to do is you need to spawn in a sheep. Let's see if I can find the sheep egg. Uh, I, there it is, right there. And I'm also going to get some pink dye. So, right there. And you'll be wondering why. Well, I'm going to spawn this sheep. I'm going to dye it pink. And then I'm going to push him in. Oh, no, that's me. I don't want to go in there. I want the sheep in there. Come on, sheep. And this is just added with the... So you sacrifice the sheep. Oh man, this guy wants to be sacrificed too. Oh no, I broke the egg! Well, let's do it again. I wonder if it works more than once. Um, but as you can see, the egg spawned there. Let's... Oh no, it doesn't spawn again. Oh well, well I'll ask, a, I'll ask a, um, a magician to bring it in for me. Hey guys, I asked really nicely and this villager told me that I could have the egg back. It turns out that the one that I sacrificed, he stole it from me. That's what it really was. But then, you <laughs> you'll get this egg and you can then left click it. You get the pink dragon, he'll follow you around and mature and you can saddle him up and uh, all the stuff that you did with your big purple dragon who's galloping it looks like. But this mod, there are other temples. There are some for purple. The purple one 
Uh, it's around the times. They're, they're puzzles. I don't want to give away the puzzles. And so I think showing off one of these mods was, uh, or one of these temples is actually good enough because I don't want to give away too many secrets. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, so, well, there you go. There's the purple dragon. Let's see, can I find my little pink buddy? Can I, where is he? Where'd you go, dragon? Oh, there he is. Hey, what are you doing? Just looking at me? Okay. Oh, I didn't want to... Okay, well, I, I didn't mean to hurt you, buddy. As you can see, he's not hostile, though, because he is your pet. And one of the temples actually involves a mother dragon. I couldn't... I didn't see the spawner for her. Uh, if I had too many items installed right now, I could have brought up the spawner for her. And she would have... Where'd my purple dragon go? Oh, there he is. He's following me. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. If you go into creative and you fly, he'll fly to follow you. So, that's a really nifty thing. Um, but... You know, this is a really cool mod, and I recommend it if you like dragons. Even if you don't, if you just want some cool uh, temples to, uh... But, you know what? You might be thinking, well, how do I install this mod? How do I get these really neato dragons, this cool sword? And also, one thing I didn't mention. If you were up here, you could, like, throw, uh... Throw sheepskin... Not sheeps. Wow, just because I was holding the egg. You could shoot your bow and arrow, or any of that kind of stuff. But you might be thinking, how do I install this mod to get these really cool dragons, all those different dragon eggs? Uh, well, let's go ahead and install this mod. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this mod. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. Go down to Options and click Force Update. This will give us a new Minecraft.jar. If you have any mods already in your Minecraft.jar, this will actually erase them, so... You might not want to do this step, depending on whether or not you have mods. I cannot guarantee that this mod will be compatible with uh, any previous mods installed. But now that we have this brand new Minecraft, go down to the bottom left corner of your screen and type in percent app data percent. What this is going to do is bring up the roaming folder. Open up your roaming folder and you will see .minecraft. Open up your .minecraft and you'll see bins, resources, and all these other folders. Go into your, mi uh, your bin folder. And then before we can open Minecraft.jar, we need to close down the Minecraft game. So once we close down Minecraft, go ahead and open your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR Archiver or other zip program. Alright, so go ahead and you're going to need to delete Meta-Inf. The reason we need to delete Meta-Inf is because Minecraft Forge Universal right over here, which you need to open um, with WinZip, WinRAR Archiver, um, has its own meta-inf right here, and that will replace the one from your Minecraft.jar. So go ahead and select any of the files or folders in Minecraft Forge Universal and hit Control A on your keyboard to select all of the files. Drag them over into your Minecraft.jar. Once this is done, you will need to open up Minecraft. Go ahead and open up Minecraft. You can close down both of those, and then log into Minecraft. Now you will see this Forge mod loader is setting up your Minecraft environment. Once this is done, it will add in new folders to your .minecraft folder, which is still open, and it will also add a new tab to the main menu of your Minecraft. You will see this mods tab, That's, and that means you've done it right. So go ahead and close this, and go back to your .minecraft folder, and now you'll see core mods, mods, and some other things. If you do not have the mods or core mods folder, you will need to make one yourself. Go ahead and open up the mods folder, and just drag the shortugal.zip into the mods folder. Then once you start up Minecraft, that mod should be loaded in. So let's go ahead and make sure that this mod gets loaded in, and I will leave it to you. Thank you guys for watching so much. This has been Gormizer, and come on, load. Here we go. Four mods loaded, and Shortugal has moded. So there you go. Bring Aragon Dragon Riders to Minecraft. So this mod is a quite impressive mod, but thank you guys for watching. This has been Gormizer. Bye!